Hello friends, welcome to Westerville, Ohio. I'm here at Grizzly Bird Brewing Company. I came in here the other day and started filming and one of the owners noticed and pulled me aside and said, hey man, why don't you come back here a couple hours before we open and I'll show you around for real instead of when all these people are here. I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. So here we are, I'm gonna check out the brewery. They've got some interesting uh, ways of brewing here that I've never seen before, so Let's, let's go check it out and try some beers. First thing you see is this family area. This chalkboard you can write on, kids can play. Put a bird on it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we are. I love this tasting room. And the brew house is right here. It is a part of the tasting room. A couple of the guys are back here doing some stuff, getting the brewery ready for opening here in a couple hours. So just kind of wandering around, checking the place out a little bit. Asking lots of questions about the brew house and this mechanism back here that I've never seen in a brewery before, how they make their beers. Very good beer. They have a lot of movie art here. Lots of movie references. I think all the beers are references to some movie quote or a movie. Okay, friends, Walt and Brian here, a couple of the owners are, I think you're, you're about done getting things ready for the morning, we're close. right? We're, we're close. close to getting things done. Yeah, yeah so, but it's, it's close enough we can all have a beer, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So never, I'm, never yeah. time, not enough time for a beer. Well, what, what beer should I, should I try? I had a couple the other day. I was very impressed, but I, you know, I'll have what you guys are having. I, guess. I usually go motorboat. I like yeah. the hazy IPA. Yeah, I like motorboat too easy. I, I, uh, I knew that we just put it on the page and I'm doing an RRI. It's uh, 20 more years. Hefeweizen. Hefeweizen. Okay, Hefeweizen, two motorboats. Yeah. All right. Okay, friends, here we are. I got the motorboating IPA. You're, you're drinking the Hefeweizen. Yes, sir. All right, all right. Yeah, well, cheers. Cheers, fellas. Yeah. Glad to be here. So, when I was here the other day, I was very impressed with the brewery. I thought it was unique, it's unique enough where it's worth rounding these guys up and talking about this place. So, Walt, tell me, how, how long has this brewery been around? Um, so we started out as Galena Brewing Company um, in 2018. We started out in Johnstown, which is just a small town east of here. Uh, we're there for about a year and a half just to see if we, you know, we know we love, we knew we loved the brewery atmosphere. We didn't know if we loved the brewery business side. So we just got a small spot in Johnstown. Um, figured out that, yeah, we do. We do really enjoy not only the community, but the business piece of it, the business side of it, I guess. So we found this spot. We've been here since 2019. Right. So we'll be celebrating four years in November. Cool. Yeah. You've been here for how long, Brad? Ooh, seven months? Hmm. As an owner. As an owner. <laughs> As an owner. But here since 2019. Yeah. But yeah, so an owner since uh, about seven months now. So it seems like it's growing. You guys make good products. So how many beers do you make right now? Um, so the system's relatively new. So we're getting our um, beer built back up. Uh, the goal is right now we have four beers on tap. Our goal is to have six of ours and six rotating guests. Cool. So um, we'll have. You know, the hazy IPA, regular IPA, a Pilsner, um, a Stout, a Hefeweizen, we'll do a Christmas ale. So some specialty stuff when the seasons come around, but for the most part, we'll definitely have our, or I'm sorry, our lager, our West Coast, our hazy, and our Stout. Right on, standard beers. Yep. Yeah. And you have a unique system that you brew this on, and I'll talk about that later. I wanna show our friends here about that and have you explain it, but it is a unique way of brewing that I've not heard of before, so I'm, I'm excited to show you the system, but as far as the beers go, your guest taps include some domestic beers that is unusual to find at a brewery. You know, that's so the event space, we have a large event space. Um, we opened that towards the end of COVID. Um, people were finally starting to get back out, but they 
weren't necessarily comfortable coming out in unfamiliar groups. So we opened the event space to give people a place to gather, but gather with friends and family, not necessarily out in yeah. public. Um, but with having the large event space, not everybody's a craft beer drinker, and we understand that. And Uncle Joe, who has been drinking Coors Light for the last 35 years, I'm not going to convince him after 35 years of drinking Coors Light that he, uh, you know, he needs to try craft beer. And that's, yeah. you know, we want everybody to be comfortable. We want everybody to, you know, have something that they enjoy drinking while they're here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's really cool that you do that. You have a full bar, too, which is also unique of a brewery. Yeah. Um, again, you know, I think we talked about it a little bit earlier. You know, for us, the community is, is as important or more important than the beer for us. So we wanted to give a community, give the community of Westerville a place to, you know, come hang out, see familiar faces, and again, and that's that's make actually sure. really how you and I became friends. Yeah, he had bourbon. I collect bourbon. So I walk in. I'm like, hey, have you had this kind of bourbon? These are the bourbons I think you might want to try because he was just going off of, you know, what the rep was telling. Hey, this, this. And I'm like, well, you know, what about an Eagle Rare or what about a Blanton's and uh, so he would come over, he'd sample, try those, and then he would start putting his request in for those those bourbons at the at the liquor store, local chateau. Yep. So and that's and we start striking up conversations that way. And of course, I'm in here all the time. So that's that's how we connected initially. Great. Over that's bourbon. Cool. Over bourbon. Yeah. And we just held a really nice bourbon event here last week, where we had Elijah Craig, we had Angels Envy. We had horse soldier and whistle pig, and it's not one. We the way we try to do the bourbon tastings now. We don't try to set it up where here's your four samples. That's all you get. We want you to actually talk to the representatives of those distilleries. So they were here representing all their own bourbons, which is a unique thing for us. That I've not been to a bourbon tasting where I've seen that happen. So that's once again that event space not only for the community but for us to host events as well for us as a distiller bourbon or, or a brewery. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah, and that's kind of the reason why we came on, right? To do some of the social, social parts stuff. Of the yeah. Brewery. Uh, Walt was doing cakes and eggs, according to Chris, his wife. He wasn't the greatest doing cakes and eggs. Sorry, that's what she said. I didn't say it. I <laughs> hey, I know my strengths. I know my opportunities. <laughs> yes. So I said, hey, can myself and a couple other friends in the brewery, uh, Mitch and Mindy, we jumped in. Of course, Walt, hands on as well as the owner. And we did, a, in 10 days, we raised almost $4,000 for the uh, Ryan Day Foundation for uh, Mental Youth uh, Awareness. And uh, as I'm out there cooking, I mentioned, well, you know, I've always wanted to be involved in or own a brewery, bar. And at that time, he said, you never know the opportunity to present itself. And then several months later, he's like, I don't, I don't need your money, I just need your help. Do you, but we'll take your money. But we'll take your money. <laughs> <laughs> and do you want to be a partner? So let me talk to my wife and uh, went to Walt's house for dinner one night, sat down, looked at the books, and we said, yeah, we love the, we love Grizzly Bay, we love the space, we love the people, uh, and more than honored, I want to jump in and be a part of it. Well, I think we should take a look at this event space you keep talking about here. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Do it. Right, do it. Let's um, you want a round table? Or maybe flip it? All right, well, this is the event space. This, it's pretty big, as you can see. They got a pool table over here, uh, you know, lots of space in here. Tell me about some of the events you guys do. Ooh, so actually, we when they opened up the event space, I think we were the first ones to rent it for uh, our daughter's baby shower for our granddaughter Coraline. Oh, well. So that's yeah. So we have baby showers, birthdays. We've had bounce houses in here for three year olds. Really? Yeah, yeah, I said it's big enough. Yeah. Oh. Um, We've done drag weddings. shows. Weddings. We had a full wedding in here. Wow. A lot of rehearsal dinners. Um, a lot of uh, the school's um, banquets, end of season banquets. We could let them use the room for that. And gives them a space where, you know, they're not in the cafeteria. Yeah. Kind of get out and, you know, makes it a little bit more special. Sure. Yeah. So, and we try to get back to the community as much as possible with the space. I mean, a good example is the Peloton. Mm -hmm. Letting them come in afterwards, have their afterwards partying with a band and 
you know, not charge and then donate items to them to auction off, uh, just to build that relationship with the community. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys are definitely a community driven business, I would say. Just in general. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah, it's really our focus. Yeah, this is nice. And you have an outdoor space here too. We do, yeah. Um, we just had the patio at it last year. Um, so it gives us, uh, it runs the length of the building. So it's 50 feet long, 12 feet wide. So it's a little narrow, but it gives us just a nice space for people to get outside and enjoy the weather yeah. when it's nice and uh, just some added seating. Yeah. So uh, tell us where we're exactly at here for those people out there that don't know where Westerville is in, in relation to uh, downtown Columbus, let's say. So we are north of Columbus, um, 270 the Westerville exit if you're coming around 270, or if you're going to come up 71 the Polaris exit, and you're going to go towards, you're going to go east on Polaris, uh, you'll get to State Street and make a left, come to Chandler, make another left. Uh, the easiest way to figure it out is we are, our landmark is Jim Marcos because it's so big. Very um, large, nice Italian, Italian restaurant, restaurant on the corner. Okay. So, yeah, right by Jim Marcos. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're hidden up here, which I like. You're, you got to kind of look for the place. It's hidden back in the, in the industrial area, but it's worth making your way out here, believe me. Maybe after a dinner at Gio, whatever. Marcos. It's, it's, <laughs> But we also have food trucks. Yes. We oh have, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a variety of food trucks that come in, um, usually every night of the week. So we we offer food through them, um, and then we also have like snacks, like chips and stuff behind the bar. But yeah, so we try to try to give uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah. 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 You might hear some vacuuming in the background. That's Katie. She's the bar manager. She's getting ready for the for the day because we're out here spending our time drinking. And stuff. You guys should probably be working right now. No, no. Okay. Well, you own the place. You've been doing it. <laughs> I want to go check out this outside part. See yeah, let's do it. See how both the umbrellas are up. All right. Yeah, it's a nice space out here. It is a beautiful day. It is. Wow. This patio is really great, but we're going to check out the brew house now. All right. So here we are. It's an interesting system here, Walt. Tell us about this. It is. It's, a, it's what's known as a smart brew system. So we are able, through this panel, to watch our beer all the time, make sure the temps are correct, make sure the pressure is correct, see where it's at in the fermentation cycle um, when we need to dry hop. Brian and I both work full-time jobs, so we needed something that gave us the flexibility that this does. So. It's unique in the fact that we basically contract the war through the Smart Brew Company. So we send them our recipes, they create a super concentrated wort, we put it in the machines, um, then we do all the fermentation in-house, we do all the dry hopping, we do all the finings and additions. So it's our beer, um, but without a lot of the inconsistencies that we were getting with our traditional brew vessel system. So this just gives us a lot of opportunities that we didn't have in the past. So yeah, we, we love it. I mean, a lot of breweries, you know, subcontract out their entire product. So, you know, and it's not uncommon in the industry. So, you know, this is, uh, this is our way of, of making the beer happen. And you used to use a Blickman system we did, yeah, a traditional yeah. three vessel, three and a half barrel. Yeah. So hot liquor tank, mash ton, uh, boil kettle, uh, which was, it was great. And we came up with some really good beers. We also had some bad beers. <laughs> uh, like I said, the consistency was the biggest thing for us. You know, we want to make sure when you come in and get a glass of motorboat today, it's the same motorboat you're going to get in two months from now. And that wasn't necessarily the case when we first opened. And for working a full-time job and running this brewery, that's yeah. a pretty smart way to go. Yeah. It, it has definitely been a game changer <laughs> for us. Yeah. yeah. You can actually see the vessels. So like we go into this one, it tells us, so it's ready to serve. It's ready to keg. 
Um, so it tells us it's gone through all these um, and it's ready to go. Down here, we're getting a red signal. This is our compressed air is low, which comes off of the air compressor. Um, so we just need to go back and check that. But it really gives us everything we need to be successful. Well, it makes a fine beer, I tell you. Uh, it's a really interesting uh, setup here. Have you guys ever seen something like this? I think it's amazing. Oh. Another walking cooler. It's got all the beer stickers like you normally see. I see some familiar ones here. Moment of silence for Sideswipe. They closed recently. I think it's time for another beer, guys. He's, he's getting the dude. Walt is getting the dude. I'm gonna get the dude. Not this time. Friends, this is, this is Katie. She's the bar manager. Hello. She Sue was vacuuming earlier. Keeping, keeping the bar tidy. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Go. One dude, two dudes coming right up. Katie, tell me how you landed here. You have an interesting story. I, I hear you're an interesting gal. Yeah. So, so tell me about this. Okay, I will. So they hired my band to play here, Irish Road. Irish Road. And okay. I'll put a, I'll put a <laughs> link to Irish Road yeah. in the <laughs> description. And so we played here like three or four times and got to know the owners really well, the patrons, and we just loved it. Loved playing here. Yeah, cool. like family, had a blast. And so I was looking for a little extra work on the weekends. And I said, Hey, Walt, do you happen to need a bartender? And he's like, Saturday afternoons. And I was okay. sold. So, and, um, how much bartending experience did you have before you, you uh, came here? Uh, lots and lots and lots of bartending experience. <laughs> no bartending experience. None. <laughs> oh. But you know what? He saw potential and he was a wonderful trainer. And um, cool. got a year and a half later, I love it. Right on. Fun. Oh, part of the family. Part of the family. And you know what I say about these guys too? Is they take care of their people. So whenever there's a job, he offers it to us first. He said, hey, you want to host karaoke? I said, yes, I do. You need it's someone cool. to clean the brewery? Katie, would you want to do it? Yes, I would. Thank you for the opportunity. And I love that. About Speaking of karaoke. Is that like next Friday? Well, you're hosting. You should know. Yeah. <laughs> That's in my right. calendar. Check your schedule. <laughs> yep. Well, Next thanks, Katie. You're, you're yeah. doing a good job. You're right. doing a good job. You work in a great place. I can tell you. 100%. Okay, guys. Well, this has been really great. I appreciate you letting me hang out here for a while. And Love having you. Katie, you know, bartending for us. So tell, tell me anything else about the place. I know you got a mug club here. Uh, I see you got games on. You got a couple TVs around. So... Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, so our mug club, we have 100 members. Uh, we do two events a year for them, renewal, and then mid-season for that as well. Okay. Uh, mugs are all made individually by a local artist. Yeah. So every mug is different. You're not a number on the wall. Yeah. It's okay. uh, kind of our I little like art wall. Like yes, 100%. Eclectic. Yeah. And then we have uh, high State Games on Saturdays. We do uh, bingo. And half -time we get bingo. halftime bingo, and we give oh, out okay. uh, swag for that. Uh, we also, on Sundays, we do the Browns. We do a halftime bingo, and we give out swag for that. Sooner or later, it may be the Chiefs swag, but you know. <laughs> Preferences. <laughs> but, yes. Uh, but, no, that's what we do. I mean, we try to make sure everybody feels like they're home, man. Cool. So, other than those two things, we have the kid space up front. Yeah. Kids, that, dogs, you can't be part of the community if you... Don't include the entire community. So yeah, yeah. bring your four-legged friends, your kids. Cats too, we, we allow a cat. On, on a leash. leash. Okay, <laughs> well, there you have it, friends. Well, thanks guys, I really appreciate you letting we me hang out. Yeah, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, thank you. It's been great. Thanks for joining us today here at Grizzly Bird. We all appreciate it. I'll see you at the next brewery. Please look at her, how do you resist? This is Avery. Avery. She's one of our favorite patrons here at Grizzly Bird. <laughs>